Have you ever been in a situation with your e-commerce brand where no matter what you try for your performance max campaigns, they just won't work? Maybe they were scaling before, but something magically happened and they, with a flip of a switch, just stopped performing. Or maybe for your e-commerce brand, they never even truly gained the level of traction that you wanted them to in order to scale to the very next level. Regardless of the situation, I want to go over a few different things in this video, which you can implement right now to not only revive those performance max campaigns but to also get them scaling again and these things work regardless of the niche or industry your e-commerce brand is in but with that the first thing you can potentially do or basically implement to make your performance max campaigns work is to reduce the focus of the performance max campaign itself now i see so many e-commerce brands because i speak with so many brand founders regularly where their performance max campaigns instead of being a master of one thing which is shopping only their marketing teams have turned that pmax campaign into a jack of all trades meaning those performance max campaigns have asset groups in there where there's 20 different assets one image one logo one headline this that this is ideal if you have a very large budget for that performance max if you have a hundred dollars a day 200 it's not going to be enough to test those 50,000 different products you also have in there which you want the pmax to go after in terms of shopping placement so you want to keep things very simple for any campaign out there not just a performance max if you truly want the algorithm to be on your side if you truly want it to start scaling but this brings me to the second thing which can basically make your performance max can start working again and that is to implement content suitability settings now content suitability settings can be found under the setup column within your tools and settings section i've covered this in various different videos in the past which you can check out but essentially what this content suitability option does is it turns your performance max campaign into a very very specific placement campaign meaning instead of now going after mobile apps instead of now going after blog pages or any other random google partners or google partner websites this performance max campaign becomes a lot more selective on where it should be showing your ads to in case you do still have those images logos videos etc getting tested within that PMAX. very crucial to have this setup and implemented the right way and this is going to basically resolve a lot of the issues with the performance max itself now this is something we do for a lot of the brands we handle under my google ads agency or marketing which by the way if you run a brand doing a million dollars a year you need extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me and let's see if we can potentially work together and make that happen but this brings me to the third thing you can do and implement right now to change the trajectory of your performance maximums and that is to remove any types of bad products from the good product campaigns and this doesn't matter if it's a testing campaign doesn't matter if it's a pro campaign where you're focusing on only the profitable products doesn't matter if you're focusing on a campaign where it's only scaling based products you need to go in and remove any of the bad products from these campaigns when i say bad products i'm referring to products which are not profitable or they're on the verge of profitability or they're eating up your impression share but not getting any link clicks these are all what i classify as bad products and what they do is they act as parasites within these good campaigns because let's say for example a bad product within your campaign has gotten 5,000 impressions and a good product has gotten 10,000 impressions but the good product got you 50 sales and the bad product got you one sale but it's unprofitable completely well now instead of those 5,000 impressions getting sent over to the good product itself the algorithm is forcing those impressions and all that ad spend to go after the bad product even though it has proven itself to be bad and the algorithm is not a real human being it's a robot if you don't punish the robot if you don't tell the robot that this is a bad product it will continue spending money on that product it will continue sending impressions to that product which is not ideal because you would rather take that impression share and send it over to the good product so the best way to do this is by just giving the bad products their own separate approach their own separate campaigns this could be done by having a campaign strategy just going after the bad products it's literally that simple now this brings me to the fourth thing which can help you make your performance max game and get back on track and that is to reduce restrictions so a lot of the times what can happen is if you start adding in a bunch of restrictions or if you start a performance max campaign strategy with a bunch of restrictions it already limits the potential of scale for that pmax or for those campaigns in general 
you don't want to set restrictions right off the bat especially if there's not enough real data justify those restrictions you just add it so as a result what happens is if you kind of pressure the campaigns and the algorithm with too many restrictions it will stop achieving any of those numbers at all and it will kind of go into the stagnant mode where it just kind of trying to get by trying to get you to spend as much money as possible without really getting you any of the results you want and the best way to fix this the best way to get that performance back back on track is to actually reduce restrictions the more you reduce restrictions the more you let the campaign and the algorithm go free the more it will try to overachieve the numbers that it once did before or the ones you want to achieve and then from there once it's achieving those values then you can start adding in the restrictions then you can start piling down on them but until your brand gets to that stage to get to the level of profitability it's going to actually work against you to add all of these restrictions in but finally the most important thing you can do to really get your performance max campaign as a whole back on track is to change up the segregation strategy now what this means is basically whatever strategy you have been working with for that performance max campaign it's no longer working maybe you were segregating out products based on the collections they're in maybe you're segregating based on profit margins whatever the situation is if it's not been working for the last 14 days 21 30 days it's time to change up that strategy and go after a different segregation approach this might mean going after only the best sellers from the past this might mean just going after maybe a specific product collection or maybe based on product prices only and separate out products based on pricing but this approach this final strategy right here forces you to go with a broader approach it forces you to kind of change up the entire campaign strategy as a whole and then to go after these different types of products you have and sometimes this can work extremely well you can really get the campaigns and the algorithm back on track sometimes this might not work as well and you might need to kind of try different things to really scale the brand to the next level but more often than not you will find that just switching up the segregation strategy is enough to revive your performance max campaign and get things back on track but again if you run a brand doing a million dollars a year you need extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me and let's see if we can potentially work together and make that happen